Hello, this is Justin at the Tech Train here, and I just wanted to quickly show you what sparklines are in Microsoft Excel and why you should be using them. Um, I have here a, uh, a spreadsheet that shows you a number of scores for students over a period of time. And whilst that information is useful, it's not helpful to see a pattern really in how students are progressing. Are the scores going up? Are they going down? Are they plateauing out or something? So it's hard to see a pattern. The uh, solutions generally are either produce loads of conditional formatting, which gets a bit messy, or produce graphs, but then you end up with loads and loads of graphs everywhere and that gets difficult. Instead, have a look at this. So on the right hand side now in column M, we have some little graphs. Uh, one for each row, and these graphs are actually inside the cell. Uh, so those graphs are not separate graphs that I've moved on and positioned. They're simply right there in that cell. And we can see at a glance now that uh, this student here, Alice, is generally on an upward trend. We can see Ben here was a bit all over the place, had a really low period, then seemed to generally increase. Um, David, you can see, is generally on an up path. That's good. We might be a bit worried about Harry and wondering what on earth's going on in these two periods of his life. Um, so it's a really, really good little tool. I'm going to show you how to do that, and it is dead simple. So I'm going to get rid of that column now and start again. So what you need to do is click on the cell where you want the spark line, which is simply another name for tiny miniature graph, if you like. Click on the cell where you want that to be and head up to the insert tab and you'll see spark lines is right here in the middle there just to the right of the middle of this uh, toolbar uh, i'm going to choose line which is the one that you'll probably most often use uh, so click on line and then it says where's the data for this you can type that in or click on the little arrow and then highlight the row of data that you want to appear in the graph click on the little arrow again and then click ok and there you are, your graph has appeared in that cell. And in fact, it's so good, we can uh, grab the little replication tool on the bottom right corner of that cell and just go all the way down and have the entire table um, then created with these little um, graphs. Uh, we can uh, format these. So if we highlight these, you can see um, the Sparkline Tools Design tab pops up. And there are various options. You've got the option to choose the color of the Sparkline graph. Uh, you've also got things such as the high point. So you can select that option and then you'll see on each graph uh, where their high point was. So you can see Harry here was right at the beginning uh, and he's gone downhill ever since, whereas Alice, her high point is the most recent test. That's reassuring. You can change the marker color. So you can change the high point to green, perhaps, and the low point could be blue. Uh, you've got the low points over here as well. And you've got various other options, such as column graphs as well, which uh, might be useful, or win loss, which isn't so useful in this case, but maybe for some people. Uh, you've got general design options here as well, so you can choose the different design uh, styles there or make your own one up. Um, but I think that's a really, really good little tool. I think that's a really uh, nice little feature in Microsoft Excel. Uh, for certainly me as a teacher, it's a useful little tool to have so I can see at a glance exactly how a student is doing over a period of time in a much better way than loads of conditional formatting or separate graphs would do. So I hope you found that useful and interesting as well. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below and I will try to reply to that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.